Hello and welcome to the wine review. Uh, as you all know, I'm Ryan the Wine Guy, aka Ryan Wine Dane. Checking out Seven Moons Red Blend out of California, 2015. 13.5% um, alcohol. Pretty cool how they have different phases of the moon. Seven Moons Red Blend celebrates the phases of the moon by combining seven great varietals into a smooth, fruity, easy to drink wine. Uncork a bottle, pour a glass, and find connection in the moonlight. The seven grapes are Syrah, Merlot, Petite Syrah, Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, and Grenache. Wow, that's probably a record for the most grapes in a red blend. <laughs> um, and they're combining some different grapes with, uh, like, I'm not surprised to see Syrah, Zin, and Cab together, but adding Merlot and Grenache in there, it's, it should be interesting. Um, it's about $12 a bottle. Um, not really sure where you could get these from. Um, place I work doesn't have it. Um, I got this at the liquor store down the street from where I live. Every once in a while, I check them out. Sometimes they'll get some weird, weird just kind of uh, wines or beers or whatever and just sort of, I guess, as like a one-time thing. So I, I've never seen this there before, so I'm interested. Very dark in the glass. Very opaque. Can't even see through it. Almost getting to be the point where it's very, almost, almost a little inky. It's not quite to the point where it's inky, but there's definitely some, some ink going on. Uh, you know, very, very dark, very deep purple. Can't, can't really see through it at all. Very nice nose. I can tell you that right now. It's a very nice nose. Blackberry. Plum. A little bit of spices. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of uh, a little bit of cedar. A little bit of cigar box. That tobacco. Black cherry. Vanilla, oak. A bit of chocolate, maybe. Mild, earthy notes. Just very mild, earthy notes. A little bit of leather. Hint of some blueberries. So, I mean, cause with all these grapes, you're gonna you're gonna get pretty much everything. So this is, but everything's really brought together to the so well that it's not like it's not like it's overpowering. It's not like it's a big woof of um of, of a nose. It's 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 fairly. It's it's fairly nice. Everything mixes. I mean, the, there is a lot of there's like a lot of spice on here though, probably coming from those uh, uh, spicier, bolder grapes. Trying 
trying to pinpoint if there's anything else. There's really no floral nose on here. I would say that's one thing that maybe this is lacking. I don't really get a floral, floral, that's even a word. I don't get like a floral nose, so, but a nice rounded uh, nose from everything else. Um, go ahead and try it. Yeah, smooth, very fruit forward. Mm. Wow, black cherries, plum, blackberry, maybe hints of blueberry, maybe a little bit of raspberry in there as well. I think I need some raspberry. A little bit of light vanilla. A little bit of a grip to it. Just a little bit of jamminess. Mm, now, huh, now those spices are kicking in. Uh, probably like the Zen and the Syrah. Some of those little spicy notes are, are starting to kick in. And you can feel the, the heat sort of sort of catching up now, but it, it's not an uncomfortable heat. It's not a very like strong burn, but it's nice to sort of really, like, you, you, you know, you know that there is definitely some, some sort of Zen, Syrah cabin here. Um, you know, the Merlot, I think definitely adds to the smoothness of the wine, maybe along with the Grenache. Um, Wow, that's a lengthy finish. That is a huge lengthy finish, actually. I mean, it's still... I'm still tasting a, a good amount of everything. I'm, I still have that little bit of spice, but those berries are now starting to pick back up again. Um, a little bit of blueberry in the back. Still, still lingering around is that dark cherry, blackberry, a little bit of raspberry that I, as I was talking about. Very nice, very nice dark fruit, but also a little bit of a nice red fruit in there as well. Um, 2015, I mean, they, they've really... I mean, I really enjoy this. I mean, this is definitely something different kind of wine. If you can find it, you can pick it up. Um, I'm just going to give the benefit of the doubt that um, we could age this maybe a couple more years. See what it does by 2020. Um, I'm, I'm going to say four and a half out of five. Um, God, I've been having some really great wines, well, as I always say. I wouldn't review a wine that I haven't liked, but I haven't had too many three-and-a-half wines lately. It's pretty much been straight up four-and-a-half, even four. And There was a couple, maybe one five I did not too long ago, but, um, yeah. Really, really enjoying these wines. Um, my last one probably for a couple of days. But um, I look forward to whichever one I do next. Well, until next time, everyone. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. Cheers. This is 7 Minutes. Salute.